Hello folks, my name is Don, and today I will be your guide to all things Autobot and Decepticon in Transformers Devastation. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I said. So as anyone who knows me knows, I love Transformers. I'm a huge Transformers nut. Uh, I was sort of looking forward to this game. I didn't really know what to expect. I've never played a Platinum game before, so bear that in mind. I know it's probably a sin, since apparently Platinum games are quite good. Let's see how this one plays. That's a good start. Oh, man. So, obviously this is this is heavily inspired by the original cartoon, with some modern twists, for example, Megatron being a tank, not a gun. With a lot of the original voice actors. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, yeah. Plasma energy also detected. It seems our theory may have been correct, Soundwave. But plasma energy is unstable. No Cybertronian has been able to tame it since... Since the Golden Age. Then stand back, Starscream. And watch me tame it, as I have tamed you. <laughs> what? Yeah, this is... It's gorgeous, I'll say that. I love that they've gone for the, the original G1 style. G1 hasn't received as much love as the other, as the other um, iterations of the franchise. So this is really cool. I will say, though, why has no one ever been able to get the sort of the classic vocoders on the characters? Soundwave sounds like shit. Decepticons are already here. And Optimus, ah, uh, god damn. Ever since the revived, you know, Peter Cullen for Optimus Prime, obviously it's been, what, 20, 30 years? Hey, it's been 20, 30 years since the original cartoon. Now, uh, Peter Cullen's voice has obviously changed in that time. He's gotten 30 years older. And he just sounds... God, he sounds way... Ooh. Hey, it's Michael Bell! The humans are evacuated and our mission is clear. Save the city and stop Megatron. Surely you've been trying to stop Megatron for, what, 40 years now? Oh! Uh, right, well, there goes half the cast. Autobots, I am alright. <laughs> How are you? Optimus Prime's a selfish... Pr right, okay. Ooh, wow. Ah, oh, it's so... fucking pretty. Ooh. That's a little effeminate. I mean, that's that's fine, I guess. I wouldn't have put that as part of Prime's character. Uh, oh. <laughs> that's... I, I don't know. I would expect a, a... just a giant robot to have a bit more of a... beefy walk. He looks like he's trying to... Walk along a tightrope. Anyway, right, that's not that's not what the game's about. It's not about a tra robot walking simulator. It the world is all of this. Wheeljack, come in. Is this Cybertronian technology? I think so, obviously. Uh, they're creating hurricane force winds like they're trying to sweep the city clear. Whatever their purpose, <laughs> there is more to the situation than this. Already the plot is so 80s Saturday morning cartoon I can barely stand it. Oh, okay. Ooh. Right, so Prime's got his axe. That's good. That's that's great. How do I... Sorry, can I move? Okay, I can rotate the camera. That's good. Can I? Nope. Mother Nature wins again. Big open area. I anticipate either a boss fight or a lot of enemies. Let's, let's see. Ah, it's a lot of enemies. Okay. Ah, there wouldn't be a boss fight this early on in the game. I'm being stupid. It's a bunch of runabout clones in blue. Okay, right. Press that button a lot. I am playing on a controller, by the way. Um, ooh, what was that? Alright, hang on, let me do that again. Oh! <laughs> okay. Compared to... I mean, the closest comparison I have to a Transformers game at the moment, of course, is the most recent two games, three games, but I don't really count Rise of the Dark Spot. Wolf of Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron. Oh, are they Seekers? Coneheads. Ooh! <laughs> uh, Enjoying this, this is fun. Oh, oh, it's sideswipe. Right. Okay, now I stand a chance. Um, yeah. So the comparison, I, the only comparison I have to a Transformers game, of course, is War for Cybertron, for the Cybertron. There's also the PS2 Transformers game that was so underrated. Um, I wish they'd re-release that, but obviously, as a licensed, as a licensed property, it might be a bit tricky. Um, God damn. Oh, this is. 
fun as all balls. This is so fast. I, this is something about Platinum Games, isn't it? That that they're they're fast actiony kind of games. Oh, so if I do, oh, hello. Oh, I've I've, <laughs> I've done the level. So yeah, naturally I'll be doing comparisons with the Wolf of Cybertron uh, for the Cybertron games because what is that? Because they were the most recent Transformers games we have. Obviously, I'd like to compare it to the PS2 game, but that's kind of old and. Actually, you know what? That was a fucking good game. What is that? That looks like... Is that the Allspark from Transformers Animated? It looks different. Naturally, being a game for nerds is going to be full of little references that no one is going to get. Uh, that's the Sky Spy from the first episode. That's kind of neat. Yeah, so I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. With Earth vehicles, you're kind of limited to what you can do in vehicle mode in these games. I think even the PS2 Transformers uh, game, you couldn't really do not a lot in vehicle mode except sort of well, drive around. Which, considering most of the levels weren't even like urban or industrial, was really pointless. You'd be like a car, a sports car, driving through the freaking Amazon jungle. Incidentally, that was the best level in any Transformers game. But here, they've clearly gone to, to lengths to make the... To make the um, Oh, I don't have to run... Yeah, I can just run through them. Um, they've clearly gone to, level, uh, to lengths to make the vehicle modes mean something. To make them, like, a part of the combat and everything. Fucking... Okay, cool. <laughs> this is... Ah, oh, the combat! Fuck me! I've never... Like, again, I haven't played Bayonetta. I haven't played any of the Platinum games. I know they're kind of known for really kind of fast-paced combat and I'm starting to see why this is really genuinely fun and you know what the thing that, that the movies showed as much as I dislike the movies I mean, they're fine and everything they're not good Transformers movies the thing that the one thing that I really liked about them was they showed us how these big heavy robots could be quite nimble and agile and this game has kind of brought that into the original series I don't recall the original Transformers being you know particularly agile and nimble they, they were just big clunky robots and they lived in the 80s but this is this is really cool i like seeing prime sort of whizzing around and you know they've actually made this work like if anything this only proves that maybe um big clunky robots are okay we don't need to have agile what is he doing ow fuck you oh i can spiffy it's got a whole collection system thing for replay value. That's probably good since so far the level seems really linear and you're just sort of just sort of being told what to do. What's going on now? Oh, <laughs> it's that guy, Devastator. Devastator. Yeah, I said that. Yeah, we know. We just said that three times now. Also, he's too big. The cab on on that foot should be the same size as Optimus. You don't need to be that big. Fuck you and your shins. Oh shit! Right. Oh, so that's really cool. So like, he creates these these uh, platforms for you to attack him from. I'm not sure about the pacing. This is Devastator. He should be. Well, he is a boss, but I've only just started playing. This is probably the first what ten minutes. Oh, this is this is kind of cool. There's. You know, it's funny because it looks like, obviously, because of its visual style, it looks kind of a bit. Ah, fuck you in the face! It looks a bit kiddie, and you'd think it would be really simplistic and, and whatever, but actually, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of. I can't believe I'm actually having to really sort of plan my attacks and really uh, watch for incoming attacks so I can dodge them and stuff. Like, god damn, that was. Yeah, so you get that awesome blue screen slowdown thing when you successfully dodge an attack like that. And that just feels good. That is so satisfying because you know you've done well. Transformers, we haven't had many, many great games for Transformers, and I just killed Devastator. But this is really good. I am impressed. Devastator, you're needed elsewhere. The others can finish the Autobots. Another time, Autobots. That is not... Devastator's voice. Ready, ready, ready. Hello, I'm Bumblebee. Look at me being a door. Uh, oh, they all have the same. <sighs> Alright, this game's got enough going on that I don't care that they all have the same walk cycles. Obviously, he's not longer a VW Beetle, even though he kind of has the VW Beetle hood on his crotch. Still. But that's. No, that's still not a VW Beetle. Oh, he's the. Oh, he's the Generations version. Right, that's cool. That's cool. Do I have vehicle mode weapons? 
Uh, but they're the same... Do I have to reload or something? Shit, what's going? Oh, oh! I have a car. Or don't. That's fine. I'm really fucking lost. I just realised I have no idea where I'm going. That's a creme Z. That is fucking cool. How do I get it? Oh, I have to pick it up. 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 Got it. That is so cool. Uh, so uh, creme Z was a little creature in one of the original episodes for the for the TV series. This is really cool. In the last couple of years, I haven't had much chance to really. Um, enjoy Transformers uh, as, as a fan, as a hobbyist, as someone who collects the toys and stuff. Just haven't had the money or the time, but this... This has rekindled my love, I think. That's it, just punch it. That'll that'll do it. Don't use your freaking guns or anything. I never saw... I don't... Re I actually don't recall... Oops, hang on. I don't actually recall much punching going on in the original series. I don't think they were animated that well. They always, it was always guns, it was always ranged attacks because it was easier to animate someone standing still and shooting a gun than it was animating someone getting punched in the face. Because it was the 80s and the cartoons were pretty simple. Now the 90s, that's where the cartoons really rocked, but you know what? That's not for here. That said, Beast Wars was categorically the best Transformers cartoon. It's a shame, it's a shame the, uh, did I kill it? It's a shame the animation sucked, but that's... Fucking transform! Right. But yeah, it's a shame the animation sucked, because, um... It was alright for the time, anyway. Megatron! What is the meaning of this? Optimus! Come to save the day, I presume? I am here to stop <laughs> you from destroying this city. <laughs> such 80s jeez. Love it! To form a rush attack, reach max speed in vehicle mode and use a melee attack button. Rush attacks can break enemy shields. Alright. So... BANG! I'm right in the ass! Ooh! <laughs> I'm, jugg <laughs> I'm juggling Megatron. This is ridiculous. Ah! Oh. This is ridiculous. I... Uh, I don't know. I, I hope... Oh, shit! I hope, um... I hope that has, has as much appeal for, like, oh shit, has as much appeal for non-fans as fans. Obviously this is completely geared towards G1 players, uh, G1 enthusiasts. So I hope there's something for, <laughs> ah, Prime's got this, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk away, it's fine. Oh yes. Whoa, whoa! You can tell him? Port. No fair. <laughs> this is nuts. This is nuts. I can barely keep track of what the fuck's going on. Where do you go? There he is. All right, come on. Fuck you. I know the game can do its own sound effects and stuff, but oh, I'm getting into this. Oh. <laughs> That's all right. I'm 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 sideswipe. Oh, he doesn't give a shit. Look at him. Do it again. Do it again. Hey, Brian. Wow. So yeah, uh, Michael Bell. If you don't know, he's the voice actor for Sideswipe. He's also the voice actor for a lot of other characters. He turns up in Star Trek, uh, some other programs and things. And he's also the voice of my other favorite video game character, probably my my absolute favorite video game character, uh, Raziel from the. Um, out from the uh, Legacy of Kane series, which I may do a playthrough of if enough people are interested. They were great games. I don't know if I can get Bloodborne One to work, but anyway, let's just get through this thing. Was that fucking easy? Why bother erecting them? Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Oh, he's got. He's. He <laughs> Why is he just skinning everywhere? <laughs> Each character has a unique ability that can be performed by pressing that bumper. Using it will deplete the ability gauge with this gauge. Really the time. Okay, fine, whatever. Let me just play! <laughs> this is great! Oh, fucking hell. Like, I don't, need, I don't even think I'm doing that good. There are probably people out there who could do playthroughs of this that would look fucking godlike compared to this dreck, but... Damn it! it does, I don't care. It feels. It's like. It's like. Uh, if you ever played the Batman games, it doesn't matter how crap you are. Batman looks good. You can't make him not look good in the combat. It's kind of like that. Um, and it's like if you just had a little bit of skill, you could just 
Oh, it's just... It's... A, it's... Ah, oh, it's pure... Right, 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 right. Where the hell is everyone else? Oh, <clears throat> when the ultimate gauge is full, the ultimate gauge of all the gauges, this is the ultimatest. When the ultimate gauge is full, press everything to perform a devastating ultimate attack. The ultimate gauge fills as you deal damage to enemies. Cool. Can I do that now? Oh! <laughs> Fucker. What is this guy doing? Is he a fucking crab? Stay fucking still. Dick. Ah. Oh. No, it's good frustration. It's good. It's good. It's it's me having fun. That's it, Prime. You just you just. Oh my god, that is so cool. I guess I have to destroy these things. Oh. Hey, that was kind of satisfying. Let's do that again. Oh. Mm, all right. Let's not do that. Oh. Shit. Ooh. Oh fuck me! It's a little fucking diagnostic drone. <laughs> Christ, I'm having nerd gasms everywhere! That is so fucking sweet! The amount of fucking detail. I am so, I am so happy, even though I'm dying and doing fucking awful shit. <laughs> come on, come at me. Come at me, bro. Come on, come on. Oh! Fuck you in the face. <laughs> Oh, nice. Nicely scripted. Come on, you. Is he using a gun? He's not using. He's He's got fucking null ray cannons on his arms and he isn't using them. One out of ten. This game's shit. Uh oh, it's the cyber dildo. <laughs> what? Pass through plasma accelerators in order to gain speed instantly. When boosted, you will break through barriers you come across. Because this game doesn't want you to slow down for fucking anything. Oh, no fucking way! That is so cool! <laughs> oh, fuck me! This is... <laughs> I, I was just really surprised. I didn't, think, I didn't think that would happen. Like I didn't think I'd knock him off. Well, that's Bone Crusher out of it. God damn, this is excellent. And now I'm just chasing Megatron, who's a tank, running away from a sports car. Let's try not to think about that too hard. Uh, also, where the fuck's Prime? I know he's a truck and probably can't keep up, but... Megatron is a tank! The, the, the combat and everything, it's just really... I just can't get over how smooth... Whoa. Oh, he made a new... I'm... experiencing such a boner for this game. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I wonder if I can... Damn it. I want to knock him into the barrier. That seems like the only thing to do. Fuck you! Oh, oh excellent! It does damage! This is... Fuck it! Damn! Damn, 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 damn! Whoa! Lost way too much health. Uh, right. Shit, how do you evade that? Fuck! I gotta stop swearing as well, man. This is just... This is... This is me enjoying myself. <laughs> I just did an uppercut as a car. <laughs> this guy's fucking mental! I... Because, again, I, I wasn't holding out much hope for this, given the... Given all of the games that we've had previously and how they've been. Uh, you know, we've only had a few gems. Literally three I can think of, actually. The Fall of Cybertron, War of Cybertron, and the PS2 game. That was it. That's been it, I think. Any other games are more subjective opinion, uh, the Beast Wars Transmetal game, that was alright I guess. The original Beast Wars game was, that was dog shit, man, that was terrible, even for its time. But, uh, but this is, I'm so impressed, I mean it's, there's, there's been enough of, of uh, increased, oh damn it, increased focus on the lore for Transformers in the recent years anyway, uh, Hasbro been trying to create a sort of unified fiction and really kind of nail it down, what, what happens in this world, what the rules are and all that kind of stuff. So. The game's got plenty to draw on story-wise. I'm really interested to see what Megatron's plan is, what, you know, what's going on right now, all that kind of stuff, because it might be... I mean, is this Unicron? Is Unicron evolved? I kind of hope not. I've had enough of that for a few years now. But I I'm interested. I'm really, really into this. Like I said, this is video is just going to be me blowjobbing this game for like an hour. Oh, shit. Stop it! Ah, you... 
bastard. And I'm not even angry because I get to do it again. You know, I don't care that Prime and Bumblebee and the rest of it aren't here because I get to do this all myself. Right. Eat shit. Oh, damn, right, right, okay. I'm sure you could probably hear me hammering on the controller. Uh, it's not... It's not a button-mashy kind of game. Well, maybe it is a button-mashy kind of game, but... It, it's like... So also generally, when you play a, a, a beat-em-up and stuff, if you're like me and you're a bit crap, what you do is you find a, a good combo or something and you just kind of spam the general gist of that combo and occasionally it'll work. This game preys on that. You only need to roughly press the right buttons and it's exactly what you want it to. It appears there is a dual layer security protocol in place. You'll first need to disable three sub generators. Once disabled, the primary generator will be vulnerable. Autobots, transform and roll out. <laughs> and on that note, on that wonderful generation one nerdy Transformers note, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, it's not forever. This I'm gonna come back to this. In fact, you know what? I might do a Transformers series. I might do all the, the games that are available on PC anyway. Uh, oh, look at that badass. Um, yeah. So this has been Transformers Devastation. It's it's great. If you're a Transformers fan and you've been wondering, uh, please don't. Just buy the damn thing. Uh, it's it's great. It is so much fun. Combat's really satisfying and responsive. It's chaos. It, whether or not it's it's G1 enough for you in that sense, in a gameplay sense, uh, that's up to you. But visually, I don't think you can argue with this. It's really pretty. It's really gorgeous. It's good to look at. It's good to play. I, I'm loving this, and I'm going to do more. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed me enjoying this game, and I'll see you all next time.